scandalized my parents. <laughs> <laughs> How do you mean, sir? President Olusegun Okikiolu Aremu Matthew Obasanjo is my guest today. Success to me is when you leave a place better than you find it. We talk about his legacy. This man whom some have called the father of modern Nigeria that some have said is the most consequential Nigerian alive. I ask him what he wants to be remembered for. What is the legacy that you most want to be remembered for? That I came here hmm. and God was immeasurably kind to me hmm. and showed his grace on me. Hmm. And I thank God for that and how some milestones of his life have defined that legacy. I asked frank questions. He gave me frank answers about third term. No. The governors are some of them, but they were doing it for themselves. How so? Because if the president gets third term, mm. they too will also get third term. Right. About allegations that he is corrupt, if others don't know how to raise funds mm. to do this type of thing, then don't cast as passion on those who do. Mm. Mm. I was for 10 years almost a member of board of trustee of Ford Foundation. I knew how to raise funds mm. for almost 10 years, mm. including part of when I was in prison which they paid me for. About vindictiveness? EFCC investigated the body and they found the body has misappropriated about $200 million. Then they thought it was being clever. He took $15 million cash to Ribado and Ribado came as they put it in their account in Central Bank and then we still pursue it. So, it was, it was pursued up to London, where he went to prison. Mm. So if that is vindictiveness, I would say, let, us, let Nigeria have more of such vindictiveness. <laughs> About statements of him trying to cripple the Lagos economy under now President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. And no, that's, that's absolute nonsense. Right. No. If he doesn't know that, then he doesn't know anything. Right. But what do you say to that child? So is it that one that make him to have uh, alpha beta? Huh? <laughs> About why he stood so firm behind the candidacy of Peter Obi? About the many letters he has written and why it remains impossible for anyone to ignore this one man. I for Nigeria that I believe we need to have mm. At this point in time, mm. it will be is still That's all. the man. That's all. And he has given me the interview of a lifetime. So what suits people politically, mm. they will say or do. Yeah. Not what they believe. Right. Or what they mean. So I don't go by what people say. I go by what people do. You've lived through Nigeria's history. You've seen it all. You know, I envy your life, sir. <laughs> if I lived half the life you've lived, it would be a great life indeed. President Obasanjo did not flinch at any point. And I'm honored that he invited me to his office and had what will be an interview for the books with me on Wednesday. Welcome to his.